Today, we're covering a question I've been asked about hundreds of times, and that is how well do these white seats hold up? And to be honest, I haven't been able to answer it really well because I hadn't had them all that long, but now I've had the car for 12 months, and I've worn blue jeans almost, well, most of the time in it. If they're not blue jeans, then they're something just like slacks or you know, some kind of uh, casual wear. Over those 12 months, I've put on 16,660 miles as of this exact second on these seats. As we're sitting here right now, they have been cleaned, I have wiped them down, and they look fantastic. But let me show you what they were like before I did that. Now, for you to truly understand how well these seats have held up, you gotta first understand what they're holding up against. As you can see in the back seat of my car, there are three car seats. And inside those three car seats sit three very crazy children who are constantly kicking the seats in front of them as well as dropping stuff on the floor. And just to take it one step further, while I was making this video, I pulled out all of the car seats out of the back and you guys have all had kids. You understand what it's like. Kids drop crumbs and everything else. And when I pulled out my car seats out of the back, you see there was all kinds of goodies left for me on the seat back there, which gets me into the first point. There are white seats all around this car, not just in the front, they're in the back where your kids sit. And I'm a family guy, I got a wife and three kids. So this car is being used for everything. We don't take any of our other cars. We have an MDX and a Mazda. They never get used. We always take the Tesla. And there are certain things that I've done from the very beginning to protect my car before anybody ever even got in the car. Let me share with you what those are first. Then I'll show you how well they've actually protected the car over these 12 months or 16,000 miles. First of all, you've already seen it. This is a complete seat protector. In fact, I think it's actually for protecting it from dogs. You could put, you know, dogs in the back and protect them. But it is also built for other things because you can see that there is a slot to put your seat belts through and you now I have seatbelt extensions coming through mine as well. Now, before those of you guys who care about your children say, stop, you can't use seatbelt extensions with car seats. These seatbelt extensions are very specific and made only for the Tesla Model 3. They're made just for these seatbelts. They're not a random one on Amazon. I tried a lot of those and you're right, those should not be used. These are very expensive, about four times, five times the price of any of that other kind of cheaper ones. And you can find them down in the link below, as well as the seat protector for that matter, as well as these car seats. Because another question I always get is how do you get three car seats in the back of your car? Well, there's videos on that and there's also links in the description. But back to the seat protector, it's done a pretty darn good job. Couple things to warn you about though on this. The straps on the top of the holder that keep it from falling down do loop around the very top of the headrest. Now, the good news about that is that these don't seem to have made any damage at all. However, on the back of the trunk behind the car seats, there's a spot to hook the car seats into. The top of these car seats have a strap that goes and hooks onto those. One thing that I didn't think about, and I had it this way for probably six months, is that strap was strapped right on top of those white seats, and it actually completely creased it and made a complete imprint into those seats. When I noticed it, I had a heart attack, I was very upset, but what I did was I went and got a rag and stuck it under that, then put the seat belt back on top of it, and then you can see now that it actually bounced almost 100% back to normal. After being an imprint in there for probably, I don't know, three, four months, I don't know exactly. They've come in and out a few different times over the year, but it's very resilient material just from that. I was actually very, very impressed, and that is not specific to the white seats, that's just the Tesla seats. The next thing I'll show you here is that I bought these absolutely phenomenal foot kick wall protector, seat back protectors. I'm not sure what exactly you call them. I know there is hard plastic on the back of the seats, but I didn't want little footprints all over it. You know, you pick up a kid from soccer, he's got some mud on their shoes or just whatever. You know, kids' feet are constantly on the back of your chair. And I didn't want to have to be yelling at my kids all the time. I didn't buy the Tesla to be all mean to my kids and try to like, hey, this is a fancy car, don't, whatever, it's not that fancy. But the back seat area has absolutely no damage on it because, well, it just didn't have anything touching it. So now let's get to the two seats that did have people on it that you came to see. And that's the front seat, specifically the driver's seat that gets the most damage. Because let's be honest, that driver's seat has all 16,660 miles worth of wear on it. So what we're gonna look at here is how well do these actually clean up, as well as what is the current condition of the material on the seats. And what you can see with this picture right here is you can see that there, it is stained. It's got like some dirt kind of co uh, coated on it pretty thick. I'll try to do my best to show you that with these pictures. Um, if I pan out on the video here, you can see the different lines um, of the material, how it's just not pure white anymore. You can see, the, see it all throughout there. 
Here's another picture of you can really see all the coloring that has gotten on these seats. I just hope you guys can see that these seats are very dirty right now. The back, not so much. It stayed pretty much normal, not a whole lot going on there. Even on the side of the seat where you swing your legs out to get out, a little bit of dirt on the front of it, but not too bad. In the corners, you can see that there's all kinds of nasty gist, dust and little pieces of dirt and whatever that build up in all the little creases. But nothing that has been ripped or torn or anything that would make me have any kind of concern with this examination. Now let's jump back to when I actually cleaned the car. All right, so now when I'm getting down and ready to actually start cleaning the surface of these, what I do is I just take simple baby wipes. I mean, non-toxic, you don't want to use anything toxic on these kind of things. Um, very soft, I mean, you'd use them on a baby's bum, so I'm sure they're fine for your car. So I just take, a, well, it's a brand new pack. So I just take one out, and we'll just do a little, but like on the half of this, so you can really see the difference. You can definitely see the dirt here. So if I come down here, just doing little circles, I mean, take a look at that. There is definitely a lot of dirt that has stuck to the seat, but no big deal because look at how well it's coming off. I mean, take a look right here. It is really dirty right here in this area. And if I start back here, just doing little circles on this, take a look at that. Look at that difference. It's huge. And so let's get the rest of this cleaned off. And I think these side, it gets a lot more wear because this is the side you're actually turning on to get out of the car. So you're actually spinning and pivoting right here on this part. So that's why this one has a little bit more wear than the other side does. Still not a lot of wear at all, but it gets more than the other side. And again, these white ones, wet ones are good at getting right down in the cracks and any little dirt that's stuck down there, everything, even the little marks just come right off. So the end result of all of this is that the white seats have held up very well. It has minimal wrinkling, no cracking at all. All the dirt and all the smudges and all the stain kind of colors that were on there are completely wiped off. And the bottom line is if I was buying my car again, I would absolutely buy the white seats. Thanks for watching this video all the way to the end. If you haven't already, make sure and subscribe. We've got lots of videos we're always working on. And if you like this video, you're gonna like the ones coming. Now don't forget, if you wanna ask me questions and be part of a chat where you can learn about your Tesla, like gain confidence, don't forget to check out our Patreon page. For just $1 a month, you can have access to all my videos, all archived right there for you, as well as listen in to some of the conversations that we're having there on the channel. And of course, there is a tier higher to enter into the conversation. I've also added in there a whole page of all the accessories that I recommend and have reviewed on this channel as well as a description about what my likes and dislikes are of the product and if I still use them today. Well that's my little sales pitch. I hope to see you on Patreon.